Um, and this is another little cartoon. Oh, you can't see it, but this is another little cartoon that um, I made. He's a little corgi puppy. and I've got all his little different positions, but um, I thought we'd do something kind of kind of cute today. We'll do a little corgi today. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys have your piece of paper and your pencil all ready to go, uh, then we are ready. So is we've got our little corgi's head right here. He's got sort of an odd little shaped head, but we'll get into that later. And when you're doing these uh, sort of ghost lines, you want to make sure that they are very light. I'm going to do them dark just so you guys can see, but you want to make sure that they're not too dark so that you can erase them later. So right now I'm just very lightly drawing a circle. So this is our first little guideline. We call it a ghost line because it's like really light. You don't want it to be super dark. Now we want to look at the body. So my little corgi has this funny looking little round, it's almost like a bean shaped body. So right underneath this circle, I want to sort of draw this little sort of oval or not, yeah, sort of oval. It's this, like I said before, it's like the shape of like a little bean or something like a little lima bean. Very lightly, ever so lightly just kind of this blobby oval shape that's gonna be for our little corgi's body. Um, now we can go ahead and sort of look at where his feet are gonna go. So he's got feet, two feet in the front, two feet in the back. Now uh, I just wanna sort of draw out how I think his feet are gonna be. They're gonna look like sort of these little stubby uh, little stubby boots. I always call them the, the little feet on my animal characters boots because I think they always look like little stubby little boots. So now we've got front two legs. Now we can go ahead and move on to the back two legs when you girls are ready. All right, so now we just want to draw his other little foot is going to be behind everything else. So it's just kind of sticking out from underneath his belly there. All right. There we go. Here's a sweet little belly, sweet little belly and a sweet little foot. All right. As you can see, he's already looking a little bit different than my example, but still pretty similar. Um, which is completely okay. All right. Now, um, another thing, I know that, um, I'd see I wasn't here last time, but I realized when I was teaching last week, I kept saying, um, using the word value when I was shading and stuff. And I didn't realize that I, um, I did not ever explain that to you. Um, so always feel free to ask me questions if I say something that, um, you don't know what it means or don't understand because I will always love to, you know, just go ahead and explain that to you. Um, so feel free to ask me questions when you want. But like I said last week, value is, um, is an art term that you use when you're talking about shading or, you know, how dark or light something is. So just to, if you hear me say that, that's that's what that means. I wanted to make sure that I told you guys what that meant so you weren't just wondering. We've got our head, our little corgi body, and our little feet, which look really cute. <laughs> All right, so next thing we wanna do is, I wanna start to get a good shape for our sweet little corgi here. So I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm just going to erase this line that we don't need inside our corgi's head. We don't need that ghost line anymore. It's just gonna sort of mess us up. All right, once you got that erased, now we can look and see our little corgi's face is kind of sort of this almost like gumdrop looking shape. It's not quite round and it's not quite flat. So our corgi's round head sort of starts here and what gives it that shape is sort of his 
rounded little corgi cheek. So he's got this pretty round corgi cheek and chin that sort of goes underneath our guideline there. So there we go, we've given him a big old cheek. So he looks extra cute. So uh, now we can go on and sort of finish off his head. So I'm just going along the guideline here. And then I'm just rounding off his head like this, but I'm not connecting it to this line because we want sort of a gap right here. Now we're going to move on to our little Corgi's body. So I'm just sort of going to follow the guidelines that I made. And I'm, we're gonna give him a tiny little bump for a tail right on the back. He's got a tiny little bump for a tail right on the back of his little corgi butt. So um, to do that little fluffy part of his white chest, we're going to, I'm actually going to bring this line down a little bit more. Again, you girls don't have to do this, but I want him to have slightly stubbier legs. Okay, there we go. So we can start from this corner here and we're just going to draw a curved line that sort of comes up, but not quite all the way to our face. This is gonna be part of his little fluffy chest. Now, we can come around and do another curved line to finish off, it looks more like an S, this one, to finish off that white fluffy part to his chest. And um, his body is pretty much done. We can add little details to his paws. He's got these little lines on all of his paws. We want to go ahead and add that to our little corgi. Now, looking at our corgi, there's still some things that I would like to adjust. Like I kind of uh, want to make this leg a little bit wider. So you girls don't have to do that, but I'm just going to make this leg a little bit wider. Here we go. That's why it's always handy to have an eraser nearby so you can adjust any little lines or any mistakes you may want to fix. What I'm gonna do for his little nose is I'm going to draw right here, right about here, I'm going to draw his little rounded triangular nose sort of off to the left side of his face, just like that. So I'm gonna draw a line down from his nose, just really teeny. And then I'm going to take a rounded line from that line we just drew and bring it all the way around. So it's gonna go all the way around, up and around our corgi's head like this. So it's gonna be another sort of curved S shape like that. We're just gonna start again from that point. It's gonna be a curve outwards, but this time since he's sort of more faced this way, you see a little bit more of the white on this side of his face. So, we're gonna make a bigger curve here like this. And then it's gonna come around and stop at the top of his head like that. So his ears are going to be big and fluffy. And we want one ear on the side of his head like this. So we've got one big fluffy triangular ear on that side. And then we're gonna do a similar thing, but this one is gonna be even more slightly big since it's closer to us. And give him the outside part of his ear, which is just a line like that. It's gonna be that orange part 
on the outside of his ear. We can do that on one side. And then we can go ahead and do that on the other as well. Just like that. To give him his little tongue. I'm just gonna draw a little U shape sticking out. Little U shape sticking out from his mouth right there. And now we are going to draw a little line to represent his mouth there. So once you've got his little toe, then you can draw another little line to sort of show that that's the bottom part of his mouth. And if you want, you can go ahead and just take your pencil and shade in his nose if you want to remember that his nose is filled in but you don't have to if you don't want to so now we just gotta give our little corgi his eyes so i want him to come here to the side and i'm just gonna draw a little rounded circle and you can make this circle as big or as small as you want and then to make his eye complete, I just added a little line that goes off the side of his eye, just like that, if you guys can see. But I'm gonna take, before you color, I think um, it'd be really nice, and I do this with all of my cartoons, is if you have a black pen or Sharpie or something, is to outline your whole drawing very carefully. All right. So there we have our corgi all outlined. But if you have colored pencils, that'll definitely work best for this corgi um, because you can sort of you see how um, the way I colored him on the computer sort of blended out his legs to be white and his belly to be white. So when you're coloring him, let me see if I can't sort of do that. I'm just gonna color his back in all this orange because this is all orange. All right, perfect. Here we go. So we've got a little corgi all colored there. All right. Can you sort of see how we blended them out with the colored pencils? You would do the same thing as you would start out coloring sort of dark by his back, and then we'd come down, and then you'd start to go sort of in circles with your pencil and then just color ever so lightly until it sort of blended out into this white here to sort of make that corgi look. Let me see if I don't have another. Oh, <laughs> I have a neon pink to color in his little tongue there. There we go, he's got his pink tongue. It just had fun drawing a little corgi. Um, but thank you for being so wonderful. Bye, I'll see you girls later. Bye. <laughs>